I think Chicago, good city for Caleb Williams. Yeah. Awesome city for him. Big city, a yeah. lot of opportunity. Oh, yeah, I, think, I think he'll be able to handle the pressure. It's the third largest yep, after L.A., okay. of <laughs> course, New York, L.A., to Chicago. And Houston's trying. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. Houston's trying oh, yeah. to get him. Yeah. Phoenix is trying Watch to make back. a jump as well, especially with what they're doing with the casitas outside of the, so, yeah. outside of the stadium. But, like, I think Caleb's uh, going to do well. And mm -hmm. I, I saw uh, – I saw RG3 on the the ones. Saw that yep. too, yeah. On the podcast. Now, RG3 has a statue at Baylor. He does. People forget that. I think people are forgetting that as they're watching RG3 on TV. I'm not saying all people, but some people forget. RG3 has a statue mm -hmm. outside of a stadium in college football right now, okay? That's who RG3 was on the field in college. He goes to the Washington. Old, old name. Yep. Football team. Two teams ago before football team. Football club. Puts us in a spot. Mm -hmm. It does. A lot of people just say it. Yeah, they do because, like, historically, that was who drafted. Exactly. Right. Yeah. Historically, a lot of things are said. We shouldn't do it. Yeah, you're right. Historically, a lot yeah. of things That's happen. That's a good point. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Can we the just call them the Reds? The amount. A little close. Whoa. Easy. A little close. Easy. A little close Definitely. right there. Mm -mm. Yeah, because since that, he's already a team name. So you got to say. No. Okay. Thumbs down. Anyways, the team that was called the. See, yeah, that, that, yeah, I could have done that right there, mm. and I think others would have done that. We're not doing that. Could say potatoes. That's against Irish people. You shouldn't do that. It's your Because the appetizer would be potato <laughs> skins. Uh, instead of okay. saying the second, we'll just say part. the Washington, the team that was in the D.C. area. Yep. Yeah, mm -hmm. hey, that go. that makes it make sense. Yeah. yeah, the team that was in the D.C. area drafted him. He wins Rookie of the Year over Andrew Luck. Now remember, the team that was in the D.C. area traded everything to get RG three. Once Andrew Luck goes to the Colts, which I think everybody knew, RG three was going to be the next guy highly sought after. Nobody wanted him more than the football team that was in D.C. They. It doesn't end up working out because of injuries, I think, that take place. He had a hot start. It ends up not working. Him and Jay Gruden, I don't think, saw eye to eye nope. you know, at the time no. or now. But he came out and said something very interesting about what Caleb should do. As a guy who got drafted at the top of a draft and has been in an NFL building and understands seemingly how the NFL works. Caleb Williams should pull a Eli Manning and demand that the Chicago Bears do not draft him number one overall. After Jeez. everything that's happened with just Justin Fields, can Caleb Williams really look at that and say, you know what? This is the organization that has my best interest at heart, and they're going to help develop me into the player that I want to become. Caleb Williams is on record saying that he wants to be legendary. He wants to rewrite history, and he wants to be the best that he can possibly be and win the most games he mm -hmm. can possibly win. After the Bears took Justin Fields, the 11th pick in the draft, and turned him into a sixth round pick in the 2025 draft by trading him to the Pittsburgh Steelers? Mm -hmm. Can Caleb Williams really look at that and say, you know what? Yeah, this organization is going to help get me where Same I want to go. Yeah. I don't think it's saying that. Eli Manning Alderated. had power in that 2004 draft. And he let the Chargers know, don't draft me. I don't believe in the direction that your organization is going. And I don't want to play there. He refused to play for them. Even threatened to sit out an entire season if they drafted him. And they still drafted him. And the look on his face when he's holding up the jersey said everything. So oh, what happened? Eli. The Chargers traded him to yeah, the New York Giants. Right? For Phillip Rivers. Also a 2004 third round pick. And then the first and fifth round picks in the 2005 NFL draft. What did Eli end up doing? He won two Super Bowls for the New York Giants. Oh. Had a great career. Mm -hmm. So, point. for Caleb Williams, don't get me great. wrong, guys. Stunt. I thought Ryan Poles was having an amazing offseason up until this trade for Justin Fields. Because you trade Justin Fields so you can get some players back to help your team out this year. Because Ryan Poles oh, and Matt Eberflush, the head coach of the Chicago Bears, Ain't they're in a lame there. duck that's season. Sick. They have to win this year or they're going to get oh, fired. YouTube, and don't get me wrong. No. <laughs> hey, hand the football off to DeAndre Swift. Throw on the ball to Keenan Allen and DJ Moore and Cole Komet. Those guys are phenomenal. Uh -huh. This uh -huh. ain't anything about them. This is about Caleb Williams and what team out there gives him the best chance to be successful. Only he can deem that. Yes, I do think him going back to Washington, where he's from. He's a D.C. kid, went to Gonzaga oh, College High School. Ooh, yeah. Okay, They're I think that's the best End it right form. now. But he has to answer that question. And if he says, all right, what I see everything that's been going then? on, and now I can make the decision and say, I don't think that the Chicago Bears are the best place for me or my family to accomplish all the goals that we want to accomplish, then he needs to let that be known. He does have power right now, and he should exercise it if he feels like Chicago is not where he should be. Okay.
All right, RG3. I appreciate that. There was conversations uh, a little bit a couple years back about Joe Burrow maybe doing this yeah. in Cincinnati. That's right. Mm -hmm. You know, because Cincinnati's still being voted not that great of a facility, not that mm -hmm. great of an operation. You know, that entire thing when it comes to the NFLPA report card. But they got new ownership, new run, new camp, new everything. Yep. So they feel like they're a brand new building. And they should be proud. Hey, let's go, Bears. Yeah, let's yeah. turn it they should be very proud to turn that whole thing around. I assume the Bears are thinking the same thing. Yeah. We got new GM, new president, new coach, new culture. Mm -hmm. We get new players in here. So you can't judge us off of what has happened, you know, historically in the Chicago Bears for the last 20 years, which you guys suck. Mm -hmm. Garbage. Trash bag. Yep. Hot. Garbage. It's only up from here, though. Real bad. But yep. it feels like, because it's been so bad over time, inevitably you would think the odds would say you hit on something. Yes. And it feels like Ryan Bowles has a vision. Eber Flus mm -hmm. is a guy who helped with the entire vision, I would assume, because he's a culture setter. When he was here in Indianapolis... Everybody loved him. Players loved him. His assistant coaches loved him. Head coach loved him. Ursay loved him. Literally, he was such a great defense coordinator here. He got a head coaching job in the time when they were only hiring offensive head coaches. So I think, like, judging the Chicago Bears strictly off of what has happened over the last 20 years is a little bit rude. But with that being said, RG3 has a much better sense of what could potentially be great for a high draft pick and what could not be as opposed to us. But I would just say saying the Washington Commanders are a franchise yeah. that will be able to take care of them as opposed to the Bears, we all just wonder on what grounds. Yeah. Like on, yeah. on, what, on what grounds are you able to say that? I don't think any of us are 100% sure. No, and obviously Dan Snyder's not there anymore, but like what has this new ownership group proved in terms of like they know how to be – like we don't know yet. Like they could – you obviously won't have nearly as much off, this, off the field stuff and like all that other bullshit that Dan Snyder kind of brought, but like we don't know if they're going to be any good. I mean, none of those guys have been in the NFL before, so it just – and also like don't you think – when you're getting drafted, like Caleb Williams, like all these guys, and you can call it hubris or whatever you want, like he believes he, he can be the guy to turn the Bears around. Well, if you're getting drafted at one, you're probably going to a place that wasn't fantastic last year. For sure. Mm -hmm. This year, different though. Yeah. It's not even their number one overall exactly. pick. It's somebody else's games. number one overall pick. And at the end of the season, it was like they invested in the defense. Yep. Yeah. Right. They invested in running back mm -hmm. now. They got weapons they've yes, invested they in. Yep. It's like that's a perfect place for a rookie quarterback to go, which is why I wonder if this was all just for him to say we need Caleb to be in Washington because his heart. Remember, he was going to buy the Washington with a GoFundMe. That's mm -hmm. right. Remember, that whole thing was mm -hmm. going to happen. A couple hundred million. This is also the first time, too, the head coach and GM actually had their quarterback. The, every single time the Bears have had a head coach, it was always from the previous head coach GM. So which, once again, goes back to why RG3 was saying this place is yeah. stunk, mm -hmm. which we, hey. So it's a new page. Acknowledge. We, we acknowledge. Yes. yes. We acknowledge. Of course. Always. We acknowledge that that's the case. We also acknowledge our tribal chief. He'll be there on Friday. Obviously. And wow. Iowa Live, 2,500 people allowed. If we get 2,500 people there, that'll be very dumb. But we acknowledge mm -hmm. that the Bears have stunk. Like, we acknowledge that. But it feels like with the new regime, things are maybe coming around. Yeah.